Okay, let me show you how to deal with RPMs. Okay, because people will give you RPMs. What you need to understand is that one RPM is, is a revolution per minute. Okay? Okay, it's one revolution per minute. So the simplest way to do this is to actually just figure out what the period is. The period is actually 60 seconds that is a minute, right? Divided by, in this case, it's 1200 RPM, right? 1200 rev per minute. And then if you notice, per minute goes the way of the bison, you get seconds per revolution, right? So this is, that tends up being 0 0.05 uh, seconds per revolution, right? Which is exactly what the period is, right? Okay, so now you're all set. Now we can find the acceleration by using uh, uh, 4 pi squared r over t squared. Okay, so here we are. So 4 times pi squared times, uh, what is it, 32 centimeters. So that's 0.32 meters, right? Okay, so times 0.32 divided by 0 0.05 squared, which is going to make that tremendous. Yeah, this this acceleration is 5,053.2 meters per second squared, right? So this is like 500 Gs, okay? Um, this could be a centrifuge. There are things like chemists and biologists use these things that basically just speed up gravity. Um, so if you're waiting for something to settle or you want to separate the cream from the milk, right? Um, you just spin it and the cream is lighter so it's on top and the, the watery part of the milk is on the bottom, right? Um, anyway, that's that's one way to do it, is to just find the period. Uh, let me show you the way I did it when I was, uh, you know, sitting where you are. Look at those straight lines, right? Here's what I would do is I'd, I'd say, okay, the velocity is... 12,000, it goes 12,000 times, it goes times 2 times pi times 0 0.32. That's how far it goes. It goes 12,000 circumferences in 60 seconds, right? So 12,000, whoops, 1,200 is what it is really. Okay, times 2 times pi times 0 0.32 divided by 60. And it, you get that the, the tangential velocity at the edge of the grinding wheel is uh, 40.2 meters per second. 0.21238, right? All these numbers, right? I'm not going to round that value. I'm just going to use it, right? And then I'm going to say A is V squared over R. Okay, so I'm going to square the number I've got in my calculator, divide by 0.32, and I get exactly the same number, right? 5053.23 uh, or whatever meters per second squared. So I don't know which way you like better. I like this better, this way better, because I was afraid of that formula. This formula scared me. It didn't make any sense to me. This formula always made sense to me, so I used it whenever I could, probably to my detriment. Okay, I don't care which way you do it. 